losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need what you need We're broken This little story all about how my life was twisted upside down So I thought I'd take a minute and sit right there And listen about how I now live in a trailer I'm leaving everything as is super organic <laughs> Anyways I'm autistic I have ADHD, truly, I was diagnosed recently, late in life, as many of us are learning about ourselves. Um, CPTSD is no longer eligible to be deniable, <laughs> if that even makes sense. But anyway, I really need your help. Um, I just want to tell you about my life experiences and kind of get the word out about what it's like to be a single female in your 30s who's disabled and the obstacles I faced in life. And there's things I have to do to better my life and take care of myself. And my makeup is not on point today. I just threw this on because I just cut my hair for the first time. I forget what this bang style is. I cut my hair all the time. What I meant is this is the first time I've cut my bangs like this. I screwed up one side pretty bad. Anyway, where was I? <laughs> um, yeah, well, I'm like in a completely new environment. I grew up like living in a home, thankfully, like a regular residential home. I moved out at 18. I got my first apartment at 19. And I was on my own for, I don't know, I guess it was like seven years. And then for the past seven years, I've been living with my mom up until recently. We finally got our own trailers, thank God. I really just don't like how I look right now, so when it's the zoomed in version, it's a little better. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, other than telling you about what it's like to be a disabled adult, I wanted to tell you about possibly like other things in my life, like weight loss and we're back. Whoa! Oh my god, hello! <laughs> okay. So, we're back. <laughs> Maybe if I like talk with my owl cup the whole time, then I'll get more views. <laughs> This is my good old Harry Potter mug. Oh, so cute. I collect a lot of things. I used to collect like mugs, um, buttons, pennies, candles, way too many clothing, shoes. I rapidly grew my Jeffree Star um, Jeffree Star Cosmetics makeup collection from like a few items to like thousands of dollars worth of items in a short time. I no longer support him. Uh, I love his makeup and I'm not planning to like throw it and light it on fire or anything but um, there were a couple things in the past but most recently with the uh, 
like his opinion about non-binary I just find baffling so I really and I find it really offensive too not for myself believe it or not I'm just a cisgender female straight maybe I'm well by curious we'll see <laughs> but anyway um where was I? So I got distracted because my cats, I let them, like, when I cook in this small trailer, I literally have to put them in their beds, like their little, um, like, zip up cat bed things because, um, they'll just like climb all over. I wouldn't be able to cook. Anyway, this is actually just to test to see if I could possibly do something like this in the long run. That's why I'm sort of like speaking softly and like, I mean, I already do actually just speak like this normally and I don't want to speak phony anymore and try to be super engaging. I just want to be genuine in myself so that just for my own benefit really. And yeah, so where was I in my conversation? Well, I was talking about lastly weight loss. Woo! <laughs> um, I can't believe I'm actually gonna post this. The more that I go on, I'm like, yeah, this is a great idea. And then once the hate comments roll in, I'll <laughs> cry myself to sleep. But <laughs> I mean, like. I don't know. I don't think there's really anything anyone can say that's going to hurt my feelings. I've heard it all. I know who I am and that I'm a good person and with a super messed up past and even present, there's a lot of uncertainty right now with what I'm doing in life and, you know, like, yes, I have gained a lot of weight, and, but, um, like, when I played back the first video and heard myself, I was like, wow, I sh sound like short of breath, but I grew up in a household with, um, chain smoking, like, the type of, to the extent where, like, those homes that you see in, I don't know, those, like, home reno move shows where, like, the walls are yellow and, it's like a train wreck mouse infest oh my cat for dramatic effect i decided to add my uh cutthroat love velour liquid lipstick but uh like i said unfortunately i can't support this guy anymore um yeah i'm not gonna go on a big spiel about that just that I do have a lot of this stuff and I'll probably be using it for like the next 10 years I have so much makeup even though it'll be long past expired <laughs> this is my cat ninja she is tiktok famous <laughs> actually when they were kittens they were just monsters for food like I was telling you about having to put them away when I eat um I uploaded a video of them just going crazy for food and I think like it got, I don't know, maybe like a quarter of a million views or something. Hey, I know people are going to be actually shocked by my appearance, like not realizing how fat I am because I use old pictures. What happened was, <laughs> what happened was... Ugh. Anytime I doing anything for myself and require attention, this is what my cat does. She's knocking over my papers. Yeah, just whatever, no big deal. <laughs> anything to distract. I don't know if you guys can see. Hey, Ninch, you little attention whore. <laughs> Come here. She's so sweet. And over there is my, her twin, Bubba, <laughs> and Xena and Ninja, or Jesus, I can't speak. Okay, Rainy, Xena, Bubba, Ninja.
anyway. So, where was I? Yeah, I got that off. Oh, I guess I, like, my always has been, always probably will be, um, like, my main problem that I have with myself isn't ADHD and being autistic and being single and, like, living in a trailer, none of that. The thing I hate the most is just my weight and, uh, <laughs> Anyway, the thing about it is, I grew up, like, being a fat kid for, you know, like, compared to the others. I wasn't, like, morbidly obese. I was just tall for my age. I, like, I definitely hit puberty a lot faster than everyone. And I was, like, just big boned and bigger and, like, chubby and whatever. But I was always, like, the big one amongst my friends. And... Then there was, like, one year that just, you know, the more I aged in, like, the school age years, the more I just recognized how messed up things were at home, and then I was also getting bullied a lot at school, and I, like, I was part of the popular girls, and suddenly they just dropped me, I don't even remember why. I think just, like, a lot of the time people recognize the differences in me, and... So I definitely got bullied a lot in life. So I just rapidly went up from, I don't know where I was sitting before, maybe in like the high hundreds, like 170, 180, 190. And then I just blew up to like 230 pretty quick, like between grade seven and grade eight. And then the following year in grade nine, I went all the way down to 160. So... <laughs> Yeah, like I have a million stories, but the hardest part about that, she's still going. Look at her. Now she's on the dehumidifier. Anyway, um, the hardest part about that is that like immediately going from like fat to like a decent size, like I could have kept going and... The reason I'm pausing is just so I'm like flooded and I'm overwhelmed because when I'm talking about this stuff, it's like, oh, I want to tell you about how it led to a lifelong battle of eating disorders. <sighs> Take a breath. So. Oh. <laughs> so when you, anyone who's been through this will know, like when you lose weight during puberty, you, well, not during puberty but oh god am I gonna be able to do this my cat is like really distracting I'm not even kidding I love her so much but it's like can I just have a moment okay so where was I the thing about losing, like, well, gaining and then losing such a drastic amount of weight is... Anyway, the thing about losing and gaining, like, such a drastic amount of weight when you're so young is that I was, like, already left with, like, super loose skin at a young age. Like, I already had mom arms and I pretty much looked like I already had a baby and I had like the loose skin and the stretch marks and my boobs were never the same and <laughs> like so I've <laughs> like just imagine having that body when you're already like only like what 15 years old like there's no real bounce back from there. Well, maybe there could have been if I had like continued with that, but I definitely roller coastered with my weight a lot in my life. So, but here I am today. I am like about, I'm in the two eighties. It's really, I don't like it. Like I know 
today there's a huge movement move, movement for like body positivity but I just know for myself personally like my health isn't very good and when I take care of my eating habits and I lose weight I feel a lot better I mean it's kind of common sense I kind of have I have a lot of like black and white thinking and like strong opinions about things but um just the younger generation of people who are overweight right now who are healthy like you're gonna see when you hit your 30s and 40s and 50s like it's just not a joke like your knees the the skin when you you know if you do decide to lose how it hangs and interferes with like working out and if you know what I mean about fupa like that is like even in at a young age I couldn't even wear normal pants to work out like I always had to constantly pull like my shirts and sweaters over the front of my body because like with the weight loss gain and loss it's like I always had super bad camel toe <laughs> I know this is like completely oversharing but this is what this YouTube page is going to be about it's going to be a mix of random shorts that I've done in the past and it's going to be just an autistic adult being completely vulnerable and speaking about things that like more people to like I don't know just to spread awareness on important subjects like I don't really have any sort of plan and I don't have anything to read off of to keep myself organized so you'll see that my brain is scattered and I've been like made fun of in my life like there was a job where they would call me scatterbrained and they'd call me a clown for wearing makeup and just you just wouldn't expect that kind of thing from like people who are double your age <laughs> I was working in a restaurant and that happened to me so yeah I have a lot of stories just from childhood growing up with two parents who didn't like deal with their childhood trauma and how that impacted me then me being already like born autistic or I guess like you're born autistic like I had all the signs when I was young but since the um the tests are based off of like white males as they say a lot of things were overlooked but um I'm getting lost with that because I'm just thinking oh. all right so <coughs> I'm drinking dirty chai PC it's amazing it's chai and espresso. Anyway, you know, I'm actually glad I'm finally doing this. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I always said, oh, I'm just going to lose weight and then I'll do it. Like, I'll lose weight, I'll lose weight. I've used that my entire life. Like, I'll lose weight and then I'll start dating. I'll lose weight and then I'll go to the gym <laughs> so I don't get judged. I'll lose weight and I'll apply for this or I'll make YouTube content or I'll just a million things so I'm glad I like I've looked back at this video and it's like wow I really don't see myself like that it's like hard to believe I know I'm fat but I just you don't I don't see all the angles that you see in the video like when I turn to the side it's like holy mackerel like I know I'm carrying so much weight in here right now, but this is motivation too. Like, I don't want to die. For a lot of my life, I was suicidal due to my childhood trauma, but for the past seven years, I've been completely suicidal free, <laughs> I guess you could say. Like, no ideolations or... um. And I need to take care of myself because I know I'm killing myself with my habits. Like, I don't drink excessively much anymore. <laughs> I don't s 
smoke. I don't do drugs. Um, whoa, on the rare occasion, like marijuana and um, like an edible version to try to mellow me out if I'm feeling a lot of stress. But, and I'm like completely honest with that. Like if I told, if somebody catches this video who knows me from my past, they'll say, there's no way she doesn't drink. I used to like go out and get fucking shit faced, but I mean, so did a lot of us in our twenties, but yeah, I don't drink. I don't like, I've never even relied on it. Like it's never been something I felt like I needed every day. Thank God but I definitely needed it and abused it heavily during social occasions. See, so there's so much I have to say that like this video is like going wait, beep, 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 beep. But this is sort of just an intro to like my life. And then from there, I'll touch base on different subjects. But um, yeah, I guess I was like, talking mostly about losing weight and how when I look back at footage of this video is like holy like you know I just know I could be doing better and oh, like thank god knock on wood where's the real wood around here everything's artificial but um um Sorry, Ninj. <laughs> anyway, um, oh my god, you wouldn't believe it. I guess she's telling me this is a sign. She's saying, don't do this. No one wants to hear you. No one wants to see you. <laughs> yeah, mama's gone cuckoo. She's going to share her life with strangers who are going to use it against her in the future. Ah, story of my life. Why do people make YouTube content? Well, some just genuinely just want to connect with people and like, of course I want to do that eventually, but I have found it in the past to be a little difficult to like stay in touch with absolutely everyone. It's a very time consuming. Like when I first lost weight, I had a Keto Maxine Instagram and it got up to about like 7,000 and I just found it impossible. But, like it was very time consuming. Like people want to connect with you and there's like little games people play to like gain followers and, and I'm sorry if I can't, if I don't, you know, become your BFF, I just have to put myself first and I like suggest everyone to do that every now and then if you can. Like if you're a single parent or you have a big family that's relying on you or working like three jobs, like it's obviously impossible sometimes, but if you can, geez, I'm getting very lost in my thoughts. I know I'm ADHD, but like normally I'm a little better at this. I'm just like very nervous. I'm nervous about people from my past seeing me and like making fun of me. I'm making, I'm worried about like turning into some sort of meme or <laughs> don't, I don't think so highly of myself where I'm like, oh yeah, it's just like, I'm going to get a million views and I'm the next like, anyway, what was I saying? So you guys tell me what's my angle, this side, this side, well, it's dark. Mm -hmm. It's definitely not down here. I could do like that TikTok fad or whatever. And you're like, <laughs> anyway. So as I was saying, this footage is helpful to me because I think that I'm gonna like use it for motivation <laughs> to actually lose weight. Like I could sit around when I was a server and sometimes I'd be working 11 hours on my feet and I'm like lifting and bending and running around and cleaning messes and like waiting for the bus and walking to the bus, walking back. Like I used to be pretty athletic in my twenties, but I was still like the fat girl. Like even though I would bike everywhere, I've just gone up and down in my weight a lot. So, but what I was trying to say is, um, 
How am I going to engage an audience when I can't even leave? Oh, weight loss. So, <laughs> um, I'm just going to like be completely honest with you guys and let you know where, where I'm sitting right now. And there's a lot more to this than just weight loss. Like I said, I was talking about different subjects. Like I'd like to talk about my CPTSD you know, a lot of this is just so new to me that I'm not going to be able to, like, offer the best advice or, like, tell you everything there is to know about, like, CPTSD or autism or ADHD. Like, I'm only going to be able to speak from experience and then you're going to get, and, like, I was going to write a book and then I thought, I may still, like, I have... I think I'm like almost 50% done. Like if a standard book is like 70,000 words or something, I think I have like 35,000 words or something. So, and that was just the beginning without even really getting organized. <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm actually better in writing sometimes than speaking. <laughs> well, I guess that's not hard. <laughs> but, um, so... Yeah, even eye contact with the phone... I'm looking at myself is hard. It probably looks like I'm obsessed with myself, but I'm just examining this new do. And I don't, I haven't been taking pictures of myself for probably like over a year or two once I gained all the way back. So with keto, as I was saying about that, I kind of like lost 70 pounds. And then the pandemic hit and I just gained like pretty much everything back. Now I'm sitting at like 20 pounds under my max, but I still have a long ways to go. And as I was saying, like about my body type, like when I was fit, like I could show pictures of the past and but that was still me about 200 pounds. Like, I'd like to get back there. I don't want to be, like, 100 pounds. Like, that, you know, I'd like to get healthy. But around 200, for me, and my body type is not bad. Like, well, one time I got the compliment from my brother saying that it looked like I was at my ideal size. But I shouldn't be thinking or listening to what other people say. Just do what you want to do and what feels right. But I get well, I wasn't satisfied with that. I always wanted to lose more. I thought that being like around 150 would be like absolute best. And maybe I will. Like I was about 160 something when I first lost weight, going from 230 to 160. And, yeah, I was definitely a lot happier and healthier. Well, I don't know about happier. Like, it's hard to really be truly happy when you have a lot of trauma in your past and present. Like, it's always there. You Even, it ruins everything. Like, your happiest moment on earth. Like, it could be the birth of your child or your wedding day or some special occasion like it there's always a trigger no matter what and I used to hate when people like before I really dealt with myself and what I've gone through I used to hate when people would say trigger and people use trigger against like everything or use it ironically but we all do have them it's just that when you have major childhood trauma, I think there's a lot of more that make life sometimes pretty unbearable. <sighs> Ninj! I hear my cat crying. Ah, oh, yee. I think I'm going to take you on a tour, but I'm going to do it next time. Like, actually clean up, tidy up, and show you. 
If you've gotten this far in the video, I just want to say thank you for letting me ramble the first time. Uh, I think I'm going to leave it there for today. I desperately need a nap. <laughs> and yeah, please subscribe if you want to support an autistic, um, disabled person living on their own find out more about me and uh, my experiences and hopefully it resonates with someone and yeah I just uh I took all the makeup off and as much as I say I'd like to be authentic and organic um I'm not quite ready for that <laughs> maybe someday here's the top of my head yeah, I just, I know I said yeah 50 times, maybe even 100. I just went into this today like completely unprepared. I wasn't planning at all to do this. Like, I just kind of did it on a whim and we'll see where it goes. Talk to you later.